I'm in. Um, in other big news, Kill Team. Yes. yes. Um, uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to pass over to Ben because I'm not sure how much we can say. We can say that we're going to be showing some Kill Team stuff. Yeah. Um, ben, you can say the rest of what we can yeah. say about Kill Team. Okay, so a blog post came out this week talking about Kill Team and what kind of things you've got coming up for it. Uh, there's going to be a core set that's coming out which contains both the Skitari and the Gene Steeler Cults. Uh, they will have pre-made Kill Teams for you to work with, but there's also going to be options for you to make your own bits and pieces as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like what we saw with Necromunda, almost. Uh, but as well as that, they're going to be doing some other things like there's going to be starter sets that are coming out with the same kind of mechanics built into it. So you've got a pre-made uh, pre Space Wolf one and a pre-made orc commando one but you can kind of bodge it and say, oh. say what you want with it as well oh, go in different yes. directions with it too which is uh -huh. very cool the other big thing about this is that each of those starter sets comes with terrain elements as well as narrative um scenarios as well so you mm -hmm. can add some additional bits and bobs in there too so the mechanics of this are going to be slightly different from what you've seen in 40k which is very interesting and it gives you a little bit of a departure from what we saw in things like shadow war um mm -hmm. so there's going to be some interesting things there there's going to be alternative activation for the models on the tabletop which is a big thing so you'll interview you'll activate one character then the other group will act the other side will activate their character etc mm -hmm. etc et plays with multiplayer so it's between one to two players up to three to four as well which is very very cool and yeah what they've also promised that they're going to be supporting this for a very long time in the likes of white dwarf articles and that kind of thing going forward as well which is very nice to see it's one of the big problems that a lot of people talked about they were like is this going to be supported are we going to have to buy a new one in six months or something like mm -hmm. that but they seem to be doing something very very similar to this that they did with uh, blood bowl and necromunda and that kind of thing so i would be assured that this is going to be lasting for a very long time i would imagine so, it yes, looks like cool. you're getting a fair chunk of terrain in amongst oh, this God, yes, uh, oh, yeah. the, the, the terrain looks fantastic yeah yeah it's um uh, I'm I'm just hoping that the that the mat is is like um, hoping... hard or something rather than a fold out think... cheapy fold out. See, mat. I don't know. I I would hope for neoprene. Uh, from what so I heard, from this. what I I saw anyway, I think it's like a card based mat, so it's yeah, like yeah. the one you would have got in um uh, Necromunda. Yeah, I'm thing. hoping it's like a board rather than a fold yeah. out mat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. sure it's a board. yeah, yeah. I'd almost certainly say it wouldn't be uh, like neoprene, unfortunately. No, it'll not be neoprene, but it, it's yeah. um it'll be very interesting to see it when it comes. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to digging into this box and seeing what's in there. 